All right, David Harry here. And in this video, I'm going to do what is basically my first proper uh, preliminary test, as it were, of the Samsung Galaxy A95G smartphone. And this is basically my very first test to see if it's going to be any good for vlogging. Now, a couple of things here. I'm using the basic Samsung app that's built in, and I'm only going to use the internal microphones as I am right now, but I'll do this outdoors. So just remember, this phone doesn't have proper stabilizer, definitely doesn't have an optical stabilizer. There is one variant where it's got some kind of like EIS, which I will try as well. But what I'm going to do is just show you quickly the setup of the phone. Hold on, wait I need to see if I can get this camera to see everything. Just give us a sec while I try and get this in focus. What it is, there's a strong light source behind the phone, so I'm not too sure whether this camera will focus properly. Anyways, where am I on the screen? <laughs> right, so there's, there's one mic here, and then there's another mic here. Now, they're both covered by little... Uh, Ryko micro wind jammers because it is breezy outside unfortunately and then I've got this Ulanzi mounting system but when I go outdoors I'll be putting that Ulanzi mount on top of a pistol grip as well so let's see if I can get that in the shot so it's going to look something let's see it looks something like that <laughs> when I get outdoors anyway I'll explain what I'm doing outdoors let me just see what the results are like Okay, so right now I am on the rear camera and I'm shooting in UHD 4K. Now, of course, there is no stabilization going on here. So this is just me holding it on a pistol grip. Basically the same as like what you would do, just holding the phone anyway. Obviously, I've got the two little dead cats on here as well. But this is not like what you would call a massive rig or, you know, like a big kind of setup or not. And these are just very simple, cheap things that are on it. But nonetheless, it is not stabilized. Also, what we're hearing right now is the stereo microphone system in play. So what I'm gonna do is right now, I have now just chosen one of the microphones and put it into the center of the stereo field. Now, because I'm standing still, maybe this is okay, I don't know. Um, because it doesn't have stabilization on, it definitely will be subject to a bit of wobbling and stuff like that. But I'm gonna try and walk steady with it now. Now, of course, what I'm doing here right now definitely will look a bit messy and stuff, but it's just to give people an initial kind of impression as to picture quality and stuff like that. Um, and what you could get away with by just pulling it out your pocket and going for something as well. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is flip over onto the front camera. Okay, so onto the front camera now. And once again, I'm just using one of the microphones and centering it. The only reason why I do that is because I personally don't like having like stereo recordings of dialogue because it kind of goes a bit lopsided and stuff like that. So of course, again, no stabilization, but what does the picture look like and things like that, you know? So I'm gonna do, in a, well, I'll do it now. In fact, I'll start walking. <laughs> now, I don't know whether this is gonna be worse or not because I think the front camera is slightly wider maybe the wobble and whatnot the shape maybe it might look slightly less I don't really know because I've not really looked at it because what it is I've done something indoors to say what I was about to do but it, it's stuff that I've not seen so I will do a bit of a summary straight after all this anyway but my introduction was before I come out to do it <laughs> so I definitely don't know what it kind of all looks like anyway so I'm gonna go, what I'm gonna do now is go to its stabilized function on the rear camera all right so now back on the rear camera again and I've got it with its stabilizer on now two things here it drops the resolution to 1080 and also the stabilization is EIS and it won't be the best it doesn't do optical nothing like that and I'm gonna hazard a guess as well that the stabilized version may not even look like 1080. I mean, it may do, but because I know probably how this is gonna be doing it, it's gonna be using a huge chunk of whatever the picture is in order to do its stabilization. But, you know, if it works and you can get something out of it that you're kind of, you know, happy-ish with then, Maybe it's worth using, I don't know. Again, I've not properly looked at it yet or anything, so I don't really know. Now, the thing is, right now, hopefully, we're seeing a fairly stable shot. So regardless of resolution, color, picture quality, we should at least be seeing something that's fairly stable, I would imagine. 
but are we going to see stability when I start walking with it? Okay, so that's me just kind of taking, you know, um, like, well, I'm, I'm taking measured steps, shall we say, just to try and help it, uh, you know, kind of even out a bit more. Now what I'm going to do, I'm just going to kind of put a, pe a bit of a pace on here. So I'm walking way faster than what I normally would do. In fact, let me just run a little bit. And I won't run too much because I'll only get knackered doing it. Actually, the, the phone's all over the place in my hand here. There is absolutely no way this is going to be doing anything useful, I wouldn't imagine. Okay, now the wind has started picking up as well here. And it, I've started feeling bits of like drops of rain and stuff. So what I'm going to do anyway is shoot back indoors because don't forget, this was only going to be a first test scenario with all this and um, you know I will definitely be doing something with uh, my three axis you know gimbal with this as well my stabiliser anyway back indoors just for a quick summary okay so there we have it then my very first full proper test of this phone uh, just doing some vloggy stuff with it also right now I'm also on an external boom mic now again I'll explain a couple of things about this but mic's up there we should have heard that. Uh, now, the thing is, just bear in mind that this was all done with the internal app. So everything is fully automatic with it. So all the exposure, all the color, everything. So it's going to be a little bit all over the place and stuff. And right now as well, the audio that you're listening to will be subject to the internal processing of the phone. If I were to use like dedicated apps for these things, you can like get a much better picture and we can get a better mic sound as well because we could take out AGC and stuff like that with it. But anyway, regardless of all that, I think that the phone is absolutely brilliant for what it is. Now, you have to remember here that this is like, well, by Samsung standards, it's a mid-price phone. It's around £450, somewhere in that ballpark. Be somewhere like that, I would imagine, for euros and dollars. In fact, I'll have a link to the phone and all the bits and pieces that I've used in the video in the descriptions below as well. But what it is, I should already have done me unboxing and description of the phone by now, but I just haven't got around to doing it. But I will do that. And the reason being is because this phone, if from you know, in my opinion, is the best value for money Galaxy phone that you can get. And the reason why that is, and I think I may have mentioned it in another video, but this phone in the UK, in fact, I think this phone everywhere where you can buy it, it, it only comes with the Snapdragon processor, and that's the 855. So technically speaking, this phone is actually more powerful than any of the S10 range that you can buy in the UK and I think probably in Europe as well. I think what happens with this stuff, I think you guys in North America and maybe a couple of other territories around the world, when Samsung released their phones like the S10, the S20 and all that kind of stuff, I think you guys always get the Snapdragon processors, but we get the Exynos ones, which I think are like Samsung's own. And basically what that means is that between the two processors, the Snapdragon one is usually better and it does more stuff as well. Usually can give you more processing power and things like that. So this phone is an absolute steal for what it is. I mean, granted, it's not budget as in a hundred pounds or a hundred dollars euros or something like that. But it's insane value for money when you compare it to other Samsung phones. And it's got like a four and a half thousand or four thousand seven hundred like milliamp hour battery in it and stuff like that. The cameras are fine. And plus you can do decks on it as well. So you can plug this phone via a very cheap adapter onto a monitor and do all kinds of stuff and have like Android desktop on it and stuff like that. All things I'm going to go into. Uh, about you know the phone itself when I do the the video about the phone anyway I'll stop banging on about other things aside from what I've just been doing <laughs> I've had a look at that stuff quickly when I got back in and I've got to say I'm really shocked with it yeah the picture was all over the place you know because of lack of stabilization which you would expect anyway but when it was held steady it was cool. Now, don't forget the bits that I've used on the phone as well. They're just like basic things, which like I think it's probably about 25, 30 pounds worth of stuff maximum that I've used to put the phone on. But what I was doing there is very representative of what you could do anyway by just holding the phone. Because don't forget, I wasn't using a gimbal. I was just using something to hold the phone on. That's all. The uh, little dead cats as well, they had to be on because it was a bit windy. Um, at, 
at a couple of points you could hear the audio kind of dip and drop a little bit because the wind was too much as well the breeze was too much and overpowered a little bit but for the best part it sounded great as well the audio that i've had out of the internal mics for this phone are way better than most of the action cameras absolutely way better than the gopro <laughs> for the internal mics it's amazing anyway yeah so oh yeah and when i got to the stabilized version I was actually quite shocked at the amount of stabilizing that it did do. That absolutely freaked me out. Granted, the picture loss resolution and all kinds of stuff. But here's the other thing as well. If, you, if you're watching this video on a small device like a phone anyway, I'm wondering if there's that much really in it, even with its worst possible picture, which was 1080 done on the rear camera with the EIS on. I'm wondering if it was that bad. Sure, Colors are all going to be like all a bit oversaturated. White balance was way off. Um, I'd say exposure would have been all over the place. And you'll have seen what it's been doing indoors here as well. But considering that this is just a function of another device that you would have in your pocket, you know, I think it's absolutely fantastic. Now, I will be doing something as well with one of my Firetech gimbals as well, just so we can see what it looks like, proper stabilized. And I'll also use it with maybe a lav or something else as well when I do that one. But like I say, right now, we're hearing a great mic on it. Although, like I said just before, the phone will be uh, processing it with AGC and stuff. So this isn't the best sound that it's going to do either with an external microphone. Oh yeah, and on that point as well, I'm using the uh, the ten pound uh, Samsung cable, Samsung's own cable that they use. Uh, they actually sell the cable as um, USB C to headphone, but it is actually a TRRS cable, so it is a pass through for the microphone as well. They Samsung don't mention that, and I don't know why because it works perfectly. It's awesome. Anyways, like I said, there'd be some links and whatnot there, but please let me know. Anyone who comes across this, please let me know what they think of it. Um, I know it's not gonna, you know, stack up against an S20 or possibly an S10. Obviously, the S10's got optical stabilizing and stuff, but for the raw basic resolution without using fancy apps and processing and just out of the box as it were let me know what you think of all that because uh, yeah, i'm quite blown away by it to be honest and i really look forward to doing the one with the uh, three axis gimbal thing that i've got for it as well well it's not for this it's just for or any phone but i'm gonna have a crack at that as well anyways I'm just going to carry on gushing about this, you know what I mean? And in fact, I don't even know what this take looks like. It's it's repositioned from what it was earlier on. Maybe the light's a bit different. Maybe it looks worse. Maybe it looks better. I don't know. Maybe the microphone isn't isn't madly brilliant. I don't know yet. So please let me know what you think of this stuff in the comments below. Also, if you've liked this video, please consider giving it a thumbs up here. Maybe subscribe to my channel. Click on the bell notification icon. All that usual nonsense at the end of the videos. Anyway, I'm David Harry. Thank you very much for watching this video. Take care and goodbye now.